morning everybody I hope you are doing well I'm just getting ready for um, taking my session at 10 o'clock um, my graduate session and um, the reason I'm speaking quite low is because I think Efro is recording his podcast um, so I don't want to uh, come in the background um, I just want to share with you this product that I bought on um, last week the dry shampoo I'm sure you guys use it as well so handy isn't it like just literally I washed my hair yesterday but like just to freshen it up just spray it in your hair and just massage it and it just smells really nice this one is a uh, wash and blow in a can tropical punch and they have like five different um, flavors smells uh, yeah so uh, literally just put it in your hair and just shaking it so if it looks a bit greasy or anything it kind of takes that away and just bounces it up a little bit as well I've got a couple of podcasts to do today and I'm going to do accounts it's an accounts day today and um, CrossFit and then we're seeing my friend in the evening meeting up with uh, two of my friends and their husband for dinner so hopefully it's going to be a good day but I'll keep you updated speak to you later here it is my morning coffee Costa my favorite I normally go for a soya decaf latte however I have opted in for soya decaf cappuccino today um, I kind of read somewhere that it's got less calories in than soy latte, so I thought I'd switch for that. If you can save some, you know, some way, why not? Enjoy. Speak to you soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. Just about to start a podcast with Sue. I'm just going to discuss the topic and I will let you know what I'm talking about. Hi, guys. Uh, just finished uh, recording a podcast. We did have to do a, quite a lot of rehearsal. There was a lot of uh, conversation beforehand. Um, about what topics to discuss and what um, kind of we felt comfortable talking about um, experiences etc it was quite emotional actually quite long um, so yeah we have done an introduction episode uh, where we've said we're going to talk about menopause uh, postnatal depression anxiety a feeling of attachment attachment and detachment yes um, so so many topics that uh, women go through in their life journey um, so I'm quite looking forward to sharing that with everyone actually because it's some of the topics are quite taboo and people don't talk about it and um, my mission is to bring these topics up and normalize them um, you know from a uh, from my own experiences really what I went through in my lifetime and if I was if I had the support and health people I have now I think I would cope with it quite well uh, and I know there are a lot of clients, people that I see day to day talk about these things and they just talk to me as one to one. They will never bring it up as a, a group subject because it's too much of a, it's either too painful, it's too embarrassing, or whatever it may be. Um, however, we just need to make these subjects uh, quite easy to reach and open up about them. So this podcast is all about that and it will be going out once a week. Myself and Sue will be discussing different topics and normalising things that people think are not normal right now. So, hope you're looking forward to uh, listening to some of those. Just uh, waiting to go to CrossFit. And uh, just waiting for Afro who's in the toilet. And we will see you soon. Good morning everyone. Um, just arrived at a lake uh, for a park run with the clients this morning. I can see three of them there already. All eager to, uh, I think these are the new clients so they're quite eager to like, you know, come onto every session and every park run, which is great, love it. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait for, um, few more minutes uh, at nine o'clock we'll start a warm-up and then we're gonna set off for our run which is about 2.4 kilometers so quite good distance for somebody who's just starting off and um, some of them can go around twice as they get the confidence so yeah this is where we meet you can see in the background pub car park and then first and lake is just in front of me have a lovely day guys, it's Saturday morning, oh it's the, it's the day of the royal wedding, I cannot wait to see Mar uh, Meghan Markle's dress, um, that's really what I'm interested in to be honest, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be sitting through any kind of ceremonies and uh, yeah, um, yeah. so um, got the boys today as well, their dad's going to watch a concert so we're going to go watch football, um, play my, um, watch my son play football after this uh, and then bring them home. Um, I'm gonna try and do something with them today. Um, they normally are with their dad on Saturday, so yeah, it's not a normal Saturday. However, I'm sure we will come up with something. 
that was run done and just waiting for Afro to arrive here so that we can go and watch uh, Zane play football and it's in toaster. Uh, oh God, I need to tell him to get my phone because I don't have the postcode for it. Um, and hopefully he's going to bring my breakfast with him, which is uh, Saturday mornings, pancakes, um, healthy ones. Uh, just arrived at no, it, Toaster, it, Toaster football ground. It took us ages to get here, about that 40 odd minutes. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to watch the same play for a bit and then take him home. And we had an awesome day today at Wicksteed Park. Uh, boys away from Xbox, amazing, really good. And I've just prepared some dinner for them, I'll show you. It is... Chicken fajitas, wee! I've got some lettuce, got some yogurt there, Greek, Greek um, full fat Greek yogurt, salsa, and some wraps. About to tuck into this now. Hi guys, how are you doing? It's a uh, quarter to twelve, and I'm just trying to uh, finish my blog. Uh, my blog this week is going to be about Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm sure you've heard of this game. Um, my kids are absolutely crazy about it. And um, a few months ago, uh, when they started playing this game, and they were just absolutely, they just detached themselves from everything else and um, literally um, so consumed in this game. And uh, I did some research to find out what this game was about and put some disciplines around it because I felt like, I felt like the worst parent, like I'd lost control, I was cursing myself for um, buying them the video, uh, the, the Xbox itself, you know, the game is free, but it's what, what happens after you've got this game, you know, the, there's V-Bucks point that you like, want to keep buying and it was just crazy and um, a lot of my friends now complain about the same thing, that the frustrations that I was going through, so I um, just decided to uh, write a blog about my frustrations around um, Fortnite and how I dealt with those and just giving some information to parents out there that may help them um, they might do the same kind of things in their house maybe or actually they've got ideas that I haven't got which would be great so um, yeah so I'm gonna finish the blog because everyone wants to publish it tomorrow quite early uh, and we are going to do some gritty fitness work because we, uh, yeah, it's just a Facebook ad's not working and I'm just really frustrated with it. Um, after I was trying all different types of ads, it just seems like something's different, like, you know, literally not no responses are coming through. And uh, we normally have like 10 people at least on our Gritty Fitness physical side. Um, yeah, a bit quite worried about it. Anyway. I've just seen Ephra's message come on to the video, um, say he's on his way back. I'm going to go and get his dinner, uh, the fajitas, going to get them ready for him so he can eat, even though it's quite late, but he needs to have some food because it doesn't look like he's eating, but, um, eaten anything today uh, or much. Uh, I will speak to you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are all doing well on a Sunday morning. Um, I'm just making some breakfast. Spinach, tomato, chili, vegetables, the porridge, bread, rice. We're going to eat pretty soon, and then we're going to uh, cross it, uh, and then we're going to do shopping after that, um, and then clean the house. That's generally what Sundays look like. Although we do need to do some work around it as well uh, about uh, with gritty fitness and the oh, cupboard open behind me. You can see in there. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I'll catch you later.